Hello guys, my name is Kishan and in this video we are going to look at unique constraint in Oracle SQL. In our previous video we have looked at what constraints are and not null and check constraint. So to brief it out, a constraint would help us to set rules and regulations for our tables which will help us to maintain data integrity and accuracy in our tables. So unique key is one of them. You know what unique key does is whenever a column or a set of column are defined as unique you can never enter duplicates value in that column meaning that no two row in a table can have the same value for that column or set of columns so this is what particularly unique key is all about let's take a very simple example as as you see on the screen on the left hand side i have a create table statement i have country mass table with two columns country id and country name where i have marked country name as unique so that what that means is I can have country name as say Canada and I can have UAE and if I try to again insert UAE it's a violation of the unique key so it is like you cannot have the same value repeated again in that column which is marked as unique now you can have one column marked as unique or multiple columns so depending on that way if there are multiple columns you cannot repeat the same set again you know that way we'll have a practical demonstration of that on ju in just few minutes now what's one more most important thing about unique constraint is about is that the unique key will allow null values see when you are using an oracle database you can have n number of null values for a unique uh, column why because oracle oracle w um, first, first of all let's see what null is so when we to say null null is absence of data and null is null is not uh, blank space or null is not zero null is that the data is not available the data is absent so a data absent is not equal to data absent that means null, e null is not equal to null so whenever you have a unique constraint you can enter null values in that column when you are using an oracle database if you are using a sql i believe they allow null only once but for oracle database you can enter n number of nulls because no two nulls are equal to each other you know they are still unique uh, null is not equal to null and then we can have multiple unique keys in a column so you can have a composite unique key where you say that these three columns are termed as one under one unique key okay and you can have multiple unique keys also a very simple example say you have an uh, employees uh, table where you have employee ID first name last name uh, employees email and phone numbers now as you know email and phone numbers are unique for each employee so you can have one unique key on employee uh, email ID okay column and the second unique key on employee phone number column so you can have multiple unique keys in a table now as just now I talked something about a composite unique key when we say composite unique keys like we will say this two columns or you know more than one column will be termed as a single uh, under a single unique key say we can say something like first name and last name so in an employees table you can say well, first name and last name a combination of these two should not repeat okay so you are you are making a composite unique key on that now unique key constraints are nameable you can give names to unique key so that whenever a violation is done you can just read the while uh, in the error message from the Oracle you can read the name and come to know which unique key or which constraint is violated so you can give a name to unique key constraints then unique key constraint can be declared at the column level at the table level both when you are doing at the column level you can have that unique key on a single column of course if you are at the table level out of the line what you can do is you can have a unique uh, that composite unique key can be declared over there now when you are declaring a composite unique key you cannot have more than 32 columns this is a limit set by Oracle okay and a column cannot be defined as unique key as well as primary key it can be either a unique key or a primary key not both of them you know and the third thing is um, it is very important that whenever you create a unique key in Oracle implicitly Oracle will create an unique index on that column or set of columns I'll just show you these things with uh, simple demonstration 
so first of all as I mentioned let me take the employees table uh, for our understanding I'll take employee email as unique and this will be the very first simple example then I'll go on to the advanced level so first I'll create a table call as in EMP employees okay I have employee ID number then I'll have say first name that is vacare to 30 data type then let me have last name and just copy this here first name last name I'll have email which is again where get to 30 data type okay now I'll make this unique all I need to write is unique here and this column will be marked as unique okay so this is column level uh, declaration of a cons constraint you know in line as we discussed in our previous video now let me show you something out of the line say suppose I want to compose it uniquely on my first name and last name how I can achieve is I can just simply write here constraint then I have to write a constraint name so I'll give a reasonable name through which I can understand about this I we should have some naming convention in our you know day-to-day -day, uh, DB activities say suppose my naming convention is like table name followed by the constraint type so say EMP underscore UK okay unique key constraint so constraint constraint name then comes the constraint type so over here constraint type is unique fine and now the column or the set of column so my set of column over here are first name and last name okay so as you can see I have done one inline declaration one out of the line declaration here when I do an out of the line declaration I have the flexibility of adding more than one columns in an inline declaration I can only you know specify that very column through of, of the wherever I am doing it now over here also you can give the name to constraint you just need to mention something like constraint then constraint name say EMP unique key one and unique so this is how you can give a name to your constraint in line but I'll not give this over here so that let's see what if, if let's see what happens if we don't give a name to it okay so this is our table definition I'll just create this table as you can see over here the table is created now what I'll do is I'll insert one record into this table insert into EMP values I'm not taking the uh, column name clause because I'm going to insert value in all of the columns employee ID say 100 employee name let me take as Kishan Mashru okay my name let me take email as nothing like abc at the rate gmail.com fine so everything looks fine over here um, I have my first name and last name into two different over here now it's fine I have my employee ID the first name last name and email okay executed one row is inserted let me do a select star from EMP you can see the record is there now I'll, what I'll do is I'll violate this EMP em, email ID constraint okay what I'll do is I'll just insert one more record say 101 let me take Roshi Mashru and instead and just keep the now as you can see this composite uh, unique key that is on first name and last name here you can see that the first name is different the last name is repeating but the unique key is on both of them like Kishan and Mashru if this is repeated this unique key constraint is violated Rushi and Mashru is not a violation of this unique key constraint that we have given a name of, name of EMP underscore UK because it is the first name is changing so you know the pair the pair of the value is changing so it is not violating the constraint please understand this it is a composite unique key on two columns so the pair if the pair repeats again it's a violation otherwise it's not but I am I am violating this email unique key constraint because I'm giving the same email ID again so when I execute it as you can see it shows an error message saying unique constraint schema name dot 
this sys underscore c means a constraint okay then it says it has given a random number to it violated okay an update or insert statement attempts to insert a duplicate key either remove the unique restriction or do not insert the key that is what oracle is saying you are violating this constraint please don't do this a kind of thing i cannot allow you i am just aborting this insert this is what oracle is stating over here so what i'll do is instead of abc i'll make it xyz when i do that as you can see the record is inserted i'll just show you that in the table here you can see that the record is inserted so as you noticed over here some system name came now what i'll do is i let me violate this constraint again now i'll keep this rushi mesh as it is so it is a violation of the unique key constraint emp underscore uk i'll change the email address to say mno and when i execute it as you can see it says unique constraint hr dot constraint name violated right a u update or insert statement attempted to insert a duplicate key the same message but over here you have a perfect name through which you can understand which constraint is being violated right yeah so this is the advantage that you get by giving some names also one more advantage is like say suppose i want to remove this constraint from my table it is causing harm to me now the table is there created with the constraint data is present in the table and now i want to remove the constraint it's very easy you just write alter table table name that is emp drop constraint oh i just missed an o drop constraint constraint name what is the constraint name over here which i want to drop emp underscore uk so drop constraint constraint name when executed as you can see it says the table is altered i have i have altered the structure the definition of the table what i have done is i have removed this constraint and now if i try and insert this record it is allowed you know before it was violated because the constraint existed a composite unique existed on first name and last name i just removed it now when i select from the table all the three records are there fine i can commit it over here and it's there okay the changes are permanent now i'll just expand this table definition of emp you can go in the hr schema click on the plus go into tables go and find emp over here i have it i'll just refresh it once so that the table definition gets updated i'll go into emp and i go in sql when you click this sql in the sql developer you will get the script of the table the script that um, the sql developer has you know created and stored now what i want to show uh, show you guys over here is as you can see it says unique email using index fine it has used an index you can see the index definition here create unique index index name and it has given uh, uh, a name to this index you know uh, implicit name sys underscore c and then this one on schema name dot table name and the column so as i mentioned in my presentation that whenever you create a unique key oracle will implicitly create a unique index on that right so this is that oracle oracle has created this unique index now this index will again be helpful when you fetch record but as we know index will also be a head over you know when you are inserting and updating records because again the index has to be updated but this is one thing that you know mostly interviewers will ask you what happens when you create a unique index yes the column becomes unique but oracle would implicitly create a unique index on that right so whenever you create a unique constraint these things happen okay so this is about a uh, unique constraint in oracle sql i hope this video was informative and you guys knew a few more things that you already knew about and next i'll come up with primary key and then i'll come up with a very important video that would be difference between a unique key and primary key this is the most question asked in every interview so please do tune in to watch those videos please do like share and subscribe this is kishan signing off thank